among all of the different video game communities out there, you really won't find another one like the Minecraft community. And that's not just because of the sheer size of it. The Minecraft community is by far probably the most prone to arguing and disagreeing. And also, as many people say now, has a fair amount of toxicity in it. But not in the way that many people seem to understand it to be toxic. So we're going to be talking about that and how maybe we can fix this mess in the future. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for more. Now, what creates a community around a video game is a group of people that all care about that game and have a passion for it. So that should be true with the Minecraft community, of course like every other video game out there. But with many other video game communities, especially smaller ones, but even in some cases with larger ones, there isn't nearly as much fighting as there is in the Minecraft community, and there's a reason, if not a few, for that. One of those is, of course, that as a gaming community expands and gets larger, there will, of course, be more people, leaving more room for disagreements. And so, that can generate toxicity in some cases, but you still see many communities where people can just politely disagree. And that is certainly something that you can still sometimes see in the Minecraft community, if you're lucky. I've seen plenty of good people here, but still, compared to most other game communities, there is a lot more toxic arguments in the Minecraft community. And what should also be taken note of here is this is probably largely due to Minecraft's identity as a game in many cases. You see, one thing with most smaller games is that most people in that community don't argue as much because they're all there for the same thing. A lot of them like the same thing because with smaller games, you have a lot less variety in gameplay. They're typically focused a lot more on one thing than a game like Minecraft is. You know, like a fighting game. You have a lot of people who like fighting and combat. And then with all other sorts of games, you know, strategy games, you'll have all these people who like strategy and stuff. And so since they're all there for really the same thing, there is a lot less room for argument than there is with a game community like Minecraft. The very daunting task of Minecraft as a game is to basically have something for everyone, to try to appeal to as wide of an audience as possible. To have things for people who like building, people who like exploring, people who like tinkering, people who like fighting. And that's an aspect that's especially unique to Minecraft, and is largely responsible for toxicity in the community. Certainly not entirely, though. Because now, with a community like the Minecraft community, you'll have all of these different people who are here for a lot of different things, and will create a lot more disagreements with priorities and what they like in the game and what they think the game should be like. It's that and Minecraft's age as a game and how much it has changed over time. Many people don't want Minecraft to change in any major ways, while some people like myself do want some major changes to hopefully improve the game overall. That all creates more room for argument, more room for tension, and more room for toxicity if people aren't able to politely disagree on matters. But even still, I wouldn't say the Minecraft community as a whole is toxic, because to label a community as toxic implies that a majority of the community is like that. And no one can really say for certain if that's actually true or not. But it is absolutely true that there is toxicity in the Minecraft community. I've certainly seen much of it, even in some of my own comment sections. And much of this tends to erupt from disagreements regarding Mojang. 
the Minecraft community is right now largely split into two halves between people who hate Mojang and people who support Mojang, basically. And there's really a full spectrum of extremes going from one end at Mojang is perfect to the other end of Mojang sucks, basically. And this is an issue that is, for the most part, unique to the Minecraft community, having the community split like this for such a long period of time. And this is, for the most part, just a result of Mojang at times making questionable decisions regarding development of updates. Things like the fireflies, the mob vote drama, the copper bulb changes, all of those sorts of things. And now I wanted to offer a bit of insight from my experience as someone who stayed pretty neutral along this spectrum. So, personally, the most hate that I've gotten is from Mojang Defenders. Even on videos where I'm actually defending Mojang. Just about every single toxic comment or message I've received has been from people on that side of the spectrum. And that is where this massive misunderstanding of toxicity in the community comes in. I've seen many YouTubers consider this toxicity to just be people disagreeing with or critiquing Mojang, or even dubbing genuine review or critique videos as hate. But in most cases, that's not really where the toxicity is coming from at all. A lot of the toxicity actually comes from people's attitude towards people who disagree with them in the community. That's what it really is, seeing someone who has a different stance than you on something and just being hateful towards them rather than trying to, you know, debate the issue in a civilized way. And that's why the Minecraft community as a whole really isn't toxic, because I've seen people who can disagree in a polite manner, or people who can actually be supportive. Though, sadly, there are still people who are just, in many cases, toxic in their actions. I've been pretty clear throughout my time on YouTube that I'm a person of reason. I've said in plenty of videos, if you disagree with me on something, then, you know, please say why, give a fact to support your argument. That's what I like to see in actual debates. And then some people do that, and then a lot of people will just say, Nuh-uh, you're wrong, and give no explanation. And this is because the last issue plaguing the Minecraft community that kind of ties into a previous one that I talked about. And that is having a fixed view, a fixed mindset. Many people in the communities nowadays are just kind of locked into one side on that spectrum that I talked about earlier. And when you have that kind of mindset, you'll just always see someone on the other side as wrong, or in many cases just stupid, and that will lead to toxicity in a lot of cases. So, that is really what the toxicity in the community is people's attitudes towards disagreeing and the people who disagree with them. So now we can get into how we might be able to fix this one day. You can think of this as a plea of some sort. To just be open-minded, to listen to facts and reason, and, and if you are logical in your thought processes, then be nice to other people. It sounds so simple, but still so many people don't do it now. And that's because this is really important here, probably the most important thing in this video. Many people in the Minecraft community, maybe even most, seem to have lost sight of something. And that's that, at the end of the day, we're all here because we care about the same game. Everyone just wants what they think is best for it. And with 
smaller game communities, it's harder to lose sight of that because, you know, it's a smaller community focused around a smaller game. You're likely to be more aware of why you're there in the first place. But over all of these years in such a large community, many people seem to have forgotten about that in the Minecraft community. But please, if you are to remember anything from this video, remember that, at least. And I ask of you, if you want to spread some good in the community, to share this, maybe. Because that's been my goal since I started YouTube, to not only try to say what's best for the game, but try to improve the community. And make it a better place in general. But for now, that's all I have for this video. If you want to help me on this quest, then it sounds kind of soulless of me to ask, but do consider sharing this video and subscribing. I don't mean that out of greed, I mean that to try to help the community. And now, finally, if you made it all the way here, thank you for watching this. I hope to see you in another one, and for now, at least, goodbye.